Hello, PJ. What up? All right, we'll go ahead and get started. First question, Eliko. Hey, PJ, how you doing? Um, you know, someone who's pretty close to James Harden, have you talked to him recently and gotten a sense of where his head is at right now? Um, I'm here to speak for PJ Tucker. Tim McMahon. Hey, PJ. Um, obviously, there's been a lot of change with this organization. You're going into the, to the last year of your contract. How do you feel about your fit with the Rockets at this point going forward? Uh, feel great. I, feel, I fit anywhere. I'm a chameleon. I can play anywhere. Um, it's part of what I do. So uh, with the new regime here, I feel great. Brian T. Smith. PJ, I know you said you're here to talk about yourself, um, but how challenging is it? How, how frustrating is it for your, your star player not to be practicing with you when you have such a, a short period before the season starts? I'm here to talk about PJ Tucker. Anything outside of that? Jonathan Fagan. Uh, PJ, is there a lot different that you guys are having to, you know, adjust to, learn, work on, uh, different from previous years with the new coaching staff? And if there is, uh, again, just whatever setback that is to not have everybody working on it. Always different when you get new coaches, new front office, everything new. You know, nothing's the same right now. Um, most of the guys I play with aren't here anymore. You know, it's all new guys, a lot of young guys. Um, when that happens, stuff changes and you, you learn on the go. That's something you learn as a player, as a professional. And, you know, you go, you go learning, uh, you know, with your, with your ears open and your mouth closed and, and you go out and work hard and figure it out. Um, and I think everybody's doing that here right now. So um, that's something they can continue to have to do uh, on the go, on the fly, figure it out while, while things get sorted out. And there's some, you know, in professional sports you got to deal with. Adam Spalling. DJ, have you and the organization talked about a contract extension? Next question. Mark Berman. DJ, what is it like for you to have John Wall here with you now? It's cool. It's cool. I've known John since I can remember. Uh, him and my little brother, same age, and they were good friends. So he was always around. And we both grew up in the same place, so uh, in the Raleigh Boys and Girls Club. So it's cool to see, you know, my, my young guy, you know, uh, do the things that he's been doing the last 10 years in the league and, you know, continue to, you know, show and prove, uh, you know, what guys were we from are made of. So um, it's super cool to have him here. Um, he's a great player. What about having DeMarcus here? The Marcus Cousins is the Marcus Cousins. You know, you know what you're gonna get. You know, love, everybody always talks about all the other stuff with DeMarcus, but people forget um, that for a while he was one of the most dominant bigs in the league. Um, you know, I don't know if anybody could guard him one on one in the post. Uh, and now he's been able to shoot the ball well and, and do so many things. So, uh, you know, when you got DeMarcus Cousins, you know what you're gonna get. Bridget Condon. Hi, PJ. I'm from the ABC station in Raleigh. We talked to John yesterday, and he said that you're one of the guys he looked up to because you're from this area and you were successful. What does it mean to have him on the team with you and plus Chris Clemens? What does that just say about the city of Raleigh and the basketball talent here? When you're from Raleigh, you know, it's, it's a basketball town. Um, you know, everybody, all, every kid in Raleigh grows up dreaming to do what we're doing. So it's kind of special to have three people from um, – a small area um, in the country be able to be on the same team. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, we had three last year. We had Gary Clark. So um, we've had four rally guys on this team in the last uh, little bit. So um, it's super cool. You know, it's fun. We get out. We always talk about old times and Chris. You know, I didn't know Chris um, during that time, but it's crazy. That's, that's how many guys play basketball where we're from. So it's, it's super cool. Kim Davis. Hey, PJ, <clears throat> excuse me. 
Um, you're, you're one of the people that's been through change throughout your career and have always been able to adjust and play and, and keep, it, keep it moving. Can you talk about just the changes because of the personnel and the staff that you've seen so far? I know it's early and what you think about what you've seen. Um, I don't know about the changes. I know about the things that are still the same. I know a lot of our offense is a lot similar uh, to what we were running. Um, coaches putting in, you know, some tweaks and some different uh, terminology and stuff. But, uh, you know, a lot of stuff is the same, honestly. Um, defensively, putting in a few different things, but a lot of stuff still the same. So um, I think for guys, which it's only a few of us that have already been here, uh, it's a little bit easier to transition because it's not a total – change you know a lot of stuff is is a lot the same so um I think coach is doing a good job of you know kind of implementing his stuff in kind of what we were doing as well so um I like it. can you talk about the excitement of just the new guys because you do have some new people you mentioned some of them individually but just that collective new energy and thank you uh I think new energy is always good you know you get uh you know guys that you know, coming from different situations, you know, getting a chance here, uh, you know, they're, them, them looking to, you know, kind of reignite, you know, what they were doing and uh, in a new place, you know, that excitement. I think uh, you, you kind of can feel it and see it in a lot of these guys that, you know, come from different places. And even with some of the young rookie guys getting a chance, uh, we haven't had a lot of young blood around here since I've been here. So um, to have a, you know, a good mix of young guys in here, uh, they're, they're mixing it up in practice and, you know, out there working. It's, it's pretty cool. So, um, but it's something I think everybody, with, like I said, with new everything with the organization, it's something everybody kind of got to get on board with. We'll take two more. Kaylee Griffin. Hey, PJ. Coach Silas has pointed out both you and Eric as players that he's spoken a lot to and relied on a lot as he's getting acquainted here in Houston. How would you describe your relationship so far with Coach and what it's been like to work with him? Coach is great. Coach has been really good. He's been really, uh, you know, really reliable in this short time here. You know, he's, he's always been kind of an open book and kind of, you know, wanted to hear ideas from me and Eric. We've had conversations all together and, you know, by ourselves. And he... Uh, you know, I like his approach. Um, you know, he understands that, you know, the guys got to play. You know, we got to go out there and play uh, and get it done. Uh, and he wants to be able to do everything he can for us to be successful out there. And um, I think as a new coach, rather than coming in and kind of kind of say this, that, and the third, this is what we're going to do and this is how we're going to do it, you know, he has his ways and he's willing to, you know, kind of figure it out with guys uh, to be able to get the best output from everybody. So, um, I think that's a huge key, and, and I love that about him. And last question, Ali Kamajani. Hey, PJ. Uh, just curious your thoughts on Christian Wood um, since he's a new addition. And Coach Salas mentioned to us that, you know, defensively you're going to have multiple things in your toolbox. He mentioned switching, but different things as well. How do you think that will help you, especially over the last few years when you've primarily relied on switching? Um, honestly, um, I – Seen him today. He's uh, he's good young energy. Like I said, um, he's versatile. He's really versatile. He can do a lot of things, um, and I think he'll he'll fit right in uh, with the personnel that was already here. Um, you know, I seen him out there asking questions, learning, seeing you know what, what what guys are expecting of him, what to do in certain situations. And anytime you get guys like that are trying to learn uh, on the go like that, um, that's always that's always a good thing. So um, I think he'll I think he fits in good. Thank you, PJ.